out a new game. It's called Nen Jumper. And we're going to see if it is worth playing or not worth playing. Currently, I've been playing uh, for a pretty long time. I would say roughly in four hours. So if you're a fan of Hunter x Hunter, this game is uh, off that genre because all the gacha is from that uh, anime. And it's almost like any other gacha games where you have your dailies and you have your main quests. And each time you do them, you can collect rewards. And I am on chapter 4 right now. And you can see after you clear chapter 4, you can have an exploration. It's like, I guess... Uh, you can pick any kind of units in it and have them explore and claim rewards after a certain period of time. Let me go here, select, select, and then select, confirm, and come out, and then skip. So I will show you the... Uh, the gameplay, how it's really gonna work. Where is it? Right. Right. Let's get out real quick. Oh, I guess uh, I am on chapter 5. I kept clicking on chapter 4. Sorry, guys. All right, so you click on chapter, you challenge, you get... Uh, if you... There's a certain condition where you can get three stars, where you, and then once you finish the achievement, you can claim some gem at the end, you know, like every other gadget games. And then on the top, there's sub-characters that's going to support you. And then on the bottoms are your main characters that you'll be using. So if you if you notice when you're playing this, uh, what's so cool about this game system is that once uh, the number, which is on the bottom, as you can see, it has a cooldown. Uh, you can, pr let me show you. So they have an auto attack, but then once the bar or the number fills up, you press on it and there's a button and then it shows their special. But the good thing about it is uh, you can actually do combos with them. So yeah, you can do combo with them like some most of the other gacha games, which is really nice because a lot of people like to do like arrow juggles or AOE effect and things like that um which i thought this game is uh pretty fun because you are able to um see the animation but i'm also a big fan of hunter x hunter the anime so that's why uh i kind of enjoy playing this game um but besides that it's also the the gacha genre And I think what's also good about this game is also the fact that um, if you take a look at it, like you don't have to technically get S characters to be good in this game. Like they have uh, other characters that are kind of like below S and you can all the character in this game, you can technically make them six stars. And basically what you do is you just uh let's give an example you go here this is just a, a two star character and then you go to uh star up and what happened is you need materials uh like a two two star to rank it up to three star so basically you select the character in the slot and then you click star up 
and voila, you're three stars. And if you want the three star to become four star, what you do is pretty much the same thing. You select all the any three star characters, you put them together and you need three of them to make a four star. And in order for you to make a four star, you basically repeat the same cycle, you need four of them. And then in order to make a five star, you need five five star character to make a, a six star character and so on and so forth, okay? And you basically can upgrade them to like any other gacha game. Uh, you just need to farm the material on the bottom and then there's an option where you can upgrade one time or you can upgrade four times. And here you go. Bam. Okay. And there's also a cool function where like you can technically uh, equip them with uh, cards instead of like uh, gears. This system, this system goes with the uh, card. So like each card like represent uh, either a skill set or a traits or an attributes and they have description on top like for example this card it says like uh, render ineffective any attack by a weapon revert from a card beware as it randomly breaks sometimes within the first 100 attacks. I'm not really too familiar with some of these cards mechanic because I'm just starting out but if you look at the bottom there's actually a lot of um, bonuses and that's what a lot of people are uh, technically trying to get because some cards give certain bonus like critical rate or block or HP and there's like certain rarity cards like for example this rarity card is an S and I think like uh, another rarity card is a a five star card so So yeah, so technically that's something that you really want to do. And then I think like they're having this event right now where there's a seven day uh, quest event where like you do the rewards and then you claim them and then yeah. And then at the end you'll get a a Pacific seven star character. I'm mean, not a seven star character, but uh, an S character. And then you go, you can log in every day. For the past seven days, you get a S character at the end, which is kite. Anyways, enough of that. Uh, let's just go through the gameplay. And then. Yeah, and then you also go to a certain stage, such as, uh, let's just say I want to upgrade uh, this character. And I need certain mats to upgrade uh, them to a certain, uh, if you look at her her name on the left side, and then at the bottom it says Veteran Hunter plus two. So I need to go certain states to activate it to plus three. I need to collect these materials. And once I press activation, you know, it boosts up their stats. And if I don't have that material, all I need to do is press get, go to the stage. And if I'm able to clear it three star, I guess I can rate it. Or I don't know if it's three or two, but we'll, we'll find out right now. So... All right, so I guess, I guess certain dungeons, you can only run it for a certain amount. After that, you have to reset it. Go here. And then go here. 
Wow, my manners are already out. Alright. Alright, now you activate it. Voila. Rank up. Bam. So now she's purple, from blue to purple, and her stats increase. And I think the reason uh, you want to do this because you can upgrade her skill level. Because uh, once she, yeah, once you upgrade a certain rank, they'll give you a skill points, right? And skill points you can um, go to any of these skills and then just upgrade their skills. Like for example. Her basic attack basically deal damage equals to 350 to cast her attack. And her basically her special move is uh, I max it out right now already. It deals damage to 860% of caster's attack. And there is a 50 chance to dispel a random buff from the enemy. And then her passive basically you get so forth and so on. But uh, I'm going to max out her passive. Because I'm just using her um, as a, a support character. And then you go out. And then sometimes if you want to see if a character is good or not. And that you're not sure if you're just a beginner. You can always click uh, walkthrough. And there's actually a lot of people in this game. They actually post uh, resourceable comments. So you actually can actually understand instead of like some other game they're like oh this game girl big boobs or big butt nice lips you know like which is very unuseful right but this game um they actually post some really good comments where they're actually saying how good some of these characters are and some things that are very productive which i really like and then all right let's collect this right here Bam. Alright, nice. And then they also have PvP in the arena. So there's like local, server, cross server, and then there's local. You go in here, and then you challenge people. Um, okay, for the sake of the video, we'll just confirm. And then show you. What does this guy have? He's a, and you can check your opponents too, because this guy's rank seven sixty seven. Click on his lineup, see what he has. So he has only level twenty. I'm pretty sure we can we can beat him. We're like level twenty nine. So I guess according to the PvP, uh, you really can't do manual. It's on automatically you just basically sit back and watch um, it could be very boring I would say I mean I the reason I like this game is because I'm just a big fan of the anime hunter x hunter and I think that this gameplay is very unique where there's technically eight people that you can technically play on the screen you know like un unlike some other gacha games where you only have four but because there's uh, four sub characters, you actually can use the sub characters as well. So it makes you feel uh, like you're in control. So that's just my suggestion. But it just really depends on your take on it. And I think there's also an other like free roam area, which after this, I'll show you guys what it looks like. Yeah, sorry about uh, not having the music background or any music. It's because there's actually in this game, there's this function where like you technically can't put the volume high or low. And whenever I like try to record it a couple of times, like the background music was computing with like my voice. And it was just like so difficult to record because the music was just pure loud and the, uh, um, yeah.
All right, so now we are gonna go and visit. Uh, go on adventure. And then there's also um, other quest mode too. Like there's like challenge. Like after you, so the adventure is the the basic mode, and then so you click on the challenger is a uh, more difficult mode, which is kind of like if you go to uh, play other gacha games, it's kind of like oh extreme, you know. So um, so do keep that in mind. Yeah, anyways, uh, comment below to see, uh, to tell me what you guys think of the game. If you enjoyed it, if you installed it, do you want to see future content about it, etc. And etc. But I think, uh, overall, I do enjoy this new fresh look from the gacha game. But, but the, you know, like every other gacha game, like, there's some 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 aspect to it where it's kind of like gambling where you're actually not getting the character you want so all right claim And then there's like Greed Island. I think like this is where you go and you just collect like uh, either experience. Like if you click on the, these bush, they give you like basically like gold and free currency. Um, but I think I have already finished collecting my bush. But if you go in these kind of mode too, other people can attack you too. So technically... <laughs> It gets really annoying because when you die, there's a cooldown, and then if you don't, if you want to revive instantly, it costs you like gems, and it's not fun. <laughs> and then they have a paper scissor rock, and that you challenge the computer, and if you get it right, you get rewards. And then you go here, and after you collect from the tree, you basically click to combine to make sandwiches where these things where you can actually level up your heroes or you can just play the stage just to level 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 them up you know so either way but that's it for now all right guys until next time i love you and have a wonderful day